Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> all right, we're gonna start with normals. So I'm gonna show you my normals. These are all available. They're the cheapest animals that I have. They are $150 Canadian. It's a chance to show you some snakes, to explain the morphs, and help you understand what, what to see, what is different, also to show you some babies. So, right here, we have a normal, and it's in shed. I'm gonna start off by showing you the ones in shed, because they're a little bit darker, and just show you what I got. And it's a little bit scared right now. My normal snake video is now going into like a taming video. I don't know why this snake is in this mood because my snakes are usually never like this. But um, that's how you deal with that. You just hold them and let them know it's okay. It is in shed right now, but here's the first normal. Just so you can see the different little variations between the normals. So these are from two different litters. And uh, so the biggest mislabeling of snakes is with BCI boas, which is what these are. These are boa constrictor emperor otters, and um, they are not red tails. So lots of people like to call these red tails when they're selling them, when they're buying them, when they're looking for them, and they think that all boas that have warmth in their tail are red tails and even though their tails do have more warmth as you can see they are more kind of brown looking than red some can look pretty red but this is what the normals look like and some will have some interesting patterns so one of the most common things that you'll see from people on for Facebook and stuff oh look at this does this have anything else oh look this is this one's really dark is there IMG in there or something or there's spots but no, it's just a normal. <laughs> and if it did have a pile of fancy stuff, they probably wouldn't sell it to you. And uh, it's, it's important to kind of know and to kind of learn to understand the look, learn to also understand the difference between when it's in shed and when it's not. Because when it's in shed, it'll look like this. It'll be a little bit darker. Now I'm gonna take one that is bright. So bright and not in shed. So you see the variation and the difference in color. So somebody could get something, and when this one sheds, it could end up being just as bright, if not brighter than this one. But now another important thing to know, with all the normals that I sell, none of them are just normal. They're all 100% anery and 66% het albino. So what that means is they are carrying a gene. If they are het heterozygous for a gene, it means that they are carrying it. And then if they have a percentage, like 66%, that means that the mother was carrying the gene, the father was carrying the gene, but neither were showing the gene. So because neither were showing the gene, I can't uh, say with 100% accuracy that one of these is carrying albino, but there is a decent chance that they are. And what you can do, even though there's once again no guarantee, if you were looking for a snake that was carrying albino and you get to see from the litter, you could pick out the brightest one. So if I had to choose between these two, which one is most likely albino? Once again, it's tricky because this one hasn't shed, but I would go for the brightest one. And if you don't care about that and you just want a nice normal, it's, it's all personal preference. Some people really like to go for the lighter snakes and some people like to go for the darker snakes so with working with different animals it's also nice to kind of choose and pick some that are darker or some that are lighter so that you have a little bit of everything for everyone and that's that's what I try to do I try to offer that variety but I also myself lean towards the lighter brighter ones and once again you see the tail it's not really red it's brown but these are also het for annery so what that means is Annery gets rid of all the red. So even in the het form of these normals that are carrying Annery, sometimes the traits are shown. So they'll be less red than a normal that wouldn't be carrying Annery. And that's where things can get 
tricky and where you can make educated guesses on stuff because if you know what to look for, you have a much better chance of picking out an animal that is het for something. So for instance, what I've noticed with animals that are het for albino, and I'll do a video about this later, but it, when they're babies you can't really tell, but if you've raised them for about a year, you'll notice like white scales here and there. I'm not talking about like, oh look it's so bright or the sides are light or something. I'm talking about you'll actually see scales where it's almost like a paradox where it's just these scales are randomly white where they're not supposed to be or yellow. So to me if you see those speckled scales on an animal that might be het for albino or has a percentage het for albino, you can almost guarantee that it is carrying albino. But you have to see those speckled scales. And I'm going to do a video just on that. But I did just want to show you my normals that I have available. Some people might think that 150 bucks is expensive, but to me, I look at it like this. The pet stores are selling these for anywhere from let's say hundred to two hundred dollars and there's no guarantee on genetics there's no guarantee that there's anything else there's no guarantee that they're eating frozen thawed nicely so when you get an animal from me you're getting an animal that's going to be like this it's going to be nice to be calm you can hold it you can play with it you're not going to have to worry about it biting you like you saw with that other one the first they're like out of all of these one maybe tried to nip me and it was just scared so I'll do some more work with that snake, make sure it calms down before anybody is to take it. But I put that time and play with them, desensitize them, and make sure that you have an animal that you can handle, that will eat no problem. When you look at this one, this one has a really cool marking on the tail. So it has like a, the, the tail is a little bit different, the marking looks different, it's nice and bright. So it's, people will get something like this and they'll be like, oh, it's so cool, maybe it's carrying something else, and post it on the groups. But what you really have to do is you have to ask the breeder, what were the parents, what was the mom, what was the dad? Uh, is, it, is it carrying any other genes? Do you know, like, do you have any background on it? This is another reason that it's nice to buy off a private breeder, because you're getting snakes that are captive bred, that you don't have to worry about guessing things. I'll never lie to you about a snake carrying some gene it's not. I'll tell you the exact percentage and everything. So these are all 100% het anery and 66% albino. And I can ship them all across Canada for anywhere from like about 80 to $120. And then if you're somewhere else, it's probably better to get locally because for instance, to send a snake to the States is going to cost around like $700, so you wouldn't want to do that. Now I'm going to spend a little bit more time with this snake that was just a little bit scared earlier in the video. Just handle it a bit, spend some time, hang out. If a snake is a little nippy or tries to bite or anything, I have a 15 minute rule. So if a snake tries to bite me, I'll actually take it out, hold it, and play with it for 15 minutes. And yeah, it seems like it's doing fine. It was just a little bit scared, maybe a little irritated, so we're okay. It's not a nasty snake or anything by any means. Remember to like the video. I really appreciate it if you do. It helps with the performance of my YouTube. Shoot me a message. I answer all the comments. If you'd like to see something specifically, cover a video topic, I'll do that for you. Hopefully you found this uh, useful, and if you did, please consider subscribing. If you want to watch more videos about boas, check out the first video here. And uh, it's a playlist all on boas for you. Otherwise, check out whatever the other video is.